Hello everyone, this is Karst, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. So, last time we spoke to, or rather, Gale spoke with Mithra, or Mistra, in the Stormshore Tabernacle. We finished exploring the vaults of the Sorcerer's Sundries, and of course, we finally closed or shut the presses, stopped the presses in Baldur's Mouth. So with that in mind, my goal for this episode, currently at least, before I get sidetracked, is to head further south. And I'm just going to meander my way through the murder target. Um, I'm going to find the hag survivors. Hopefully check out the suspicious toys. And then eventually make my way over to freeing the artist. So without any further ado, we're just going to head straight south. And we'll see what we find down here. So my current party is still pretty much the same as uh, as previous. I should probably drop Shadowheart for someone else. But I'm not quite sure who. I guess I could drop her for... Um, I could drop her for Will, I suppose, but then I'll, I'll lose out on my uh, on my cleric, which isn't ideal. But oh well. It seems Gale has made amends with Mistra. Good for him. Though, I don't see any such reconciliation between myself and Shah anytime soon. Unfortunate, but hopefully that won't be necessary. Um, let's travel separately for now. If you're sure. I am sure. Fine. And Will, you may as well join me. It's been a while. This crown seems too powerful and dangerous an object for mere mortals to possess. Agreed. Too dangerous even for Mistra. Oh, I don't know about but that. I would sooner trust it with a god than a man. True enough. Uh, join That's me. The spirit. Wonderful. Uh, Jahara, do you have any uh, any thoughts on the whole Gale situation? Gale is a better man than most to choose what is right, even after what Mistra asked of him. Me? I think I would have tugged the great goddess's hair a bit first. Fair enough. And Halzen? It seems Gale has made amends with Mistra. I see this as a good omen for what awaits us. Uh... Are you still content at my side? This doesn't have to be your fight and certainly not your typical habitat. The city, you mean? With all its noise, smoke, stone and bustle? I would not be here given the choice, but I promised you my support, and that is what you shall have. Fair enough. Thank you. Still, though, oh, this place crawls with life, but little of it flourishes. I see refugees unhoused, the destitute unwanted, orphans unloved. The city is like a forest with an overgrown canopy. Light and nourishment cannot penetrate to those who need it the most, and still it draws them in. The safety of numbers, the promise of civilization, the dream of better. All that potential is too often destined to die in the dark and rot in the gutter. I wish, I wish there was a better way. I wish everyone could see the sun, have a full belly and no nature as a friend. Don't we all? It there is a is flawed a system. That is yet to be found. But, yeah. <laughs> Listen to me, preaching like an initiate in his cups. He's just very idealistic, yeah. It's a fine dream. Perhaps you can help find the balance. Yes, I hope so. But we have a battle to win before any of that. True enough. All right. Um... Mizora, do you have anything to say about all this? Do you have anything to contribute? Something on your mind? No. I know exactly oh wait. What's on my mind? Uh. Oh yeah. I guess it makes sense for us to confront her about this. Um. Florica accosted us in the lower city. What in the hell did you tell her? Hello, Mizora, or should I say, Lady Mizora? I'll stick with one. Let's just be direct about it. Why only the truth? That you bear the blame for the Duke's untimely demise. Such a loyal servant of the city, so eager to hear of your exploits. Tell me, darling, how is she? She's fine. We confronted her to stand down. Exactly. What a relief. It would be a shame if she'd struck down the one and only blade. Alas, she misses the fallen Duke. 
Someone will need to step up in his absence. A man with the spirit of a dragon. His only son. Perhaps. Uh, we'll look into it. I don't think kicking her out will do me any good anyway. Uh, Carlock, I'm sure you'll agree with Gale's decision. Wow. Gale is the chosen of Mistra. Congrats to him, I think. Hope he knows what he's doing. We haven't fared very well with other Chosen so far. Very true, very true. Alright. Gail, I think we've had this conversation already, but I'm going to double check. How can I help? You can't, okay? Need something? Alright, time to go. Wonderful. So I'm feeling relatively confident then. We'll just go with this and see how we do. Um... My cabbages? Oh no! My beautiful cabbages! It's the, uh... It's the guy from Avatar. Hello. Do you know how hard it is to get those cabbages into? Wait. Yep, I'm a monk. Interesting that he recognizes that. Calming presence. You're one of those monastic types. Oh? Uh -huh. Stay clear of my cabbages. You're sort of done enough damage as it is! Oh, yes, because because Aang was a was a mock. <laughs> I love it. Okay, that's good stuff. My poor sweet vegetables. They deserved better. Don't worry, one day you might expand into Cabbage Corp. We'll see. Uh just don't get roped in with the Sato um conspiracy or anything, okay? So what exactly is this? There's a murder target back here. The Pear Tree the House. The humble home of Frank Pear Tree. Great idea. Let's Do see here. Which way we came? Oh, a soul coin. Alright, I'll right. just hold on to that. We've never actually used those still. Area under Crime investigation. Uh oh. It's open to public by order of the Flaming Fist. Okay, I get the feeling that the, uh, the murder target has... Uh, has met their untimely demise. Very curious to know... Oh, don't call me Runt. Okay, this looks like a smuggler haven area. Um, so I'm gonna take a look at that. Let's go bug these people first. Hello. We're not lost. Just taking in the view before continuing on our way. That's oddly specific. The lower cities are bloody warren. I'm surprised anyone can find their way around. Fair enough. It is quite um, convoluted in here. It's quite messy. Alright, let me in. This is not illegal, right? In we go. Okay, super dead man. Frank Peartree. He's already dead. Read the bloody note. Um, the scrap of bloodied paper is scrawled in an erratic, excitable hand. You've been picking where you shouldn't, Pear Tree, placing the Lordlings' fire spitters throughout my city. Disgusting. They leave no blood. There's no art to it at all. Just burnt ash and corpse cinder. I walk through your basement here as I pen this. It's rather large, roomy. They'll never find the bits of you if I spread them out here properly. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna check all your stuff. What's that? I don't know, but I'm gonna look into it. Uh, loose planks. A lovely key. I'm seeing they left the mark of the absolute everywhere around here as well. Now, I noticed something around here. No, I don't really want to sleep on the bloody bed. Bloodstained parchment. I guess I'll pick that up last. There's a hatch underneath this. That's cool. Get that out of the way. What is this? Um... Messy splatters of deep red brown adorn the scarf of parchment. Scrap of parchment. Those wishing to face the Dread Lord's Tribunal enter the Oh, this is still the same list as before, isn't it? Yeah, killed, killed, killed. Alexander Rainforest is killed. Frank Peartree is killed. Everyone else is still alive. So that's good news. That's something. Uh we will go into the underlevel in a moment. After we finish looting this house, he doesn't need the stuff anymore. I don't care for that. Not necessary. Um, bottle racks. Nothing in there. Wonderful, we're going down. Doppelgangers? Courageous little Kimabeth. 
You are a big person. Are you a giant? You're human, but you're massive. What? You're humongous. That corpse is huge. And is that a burning heart? Where, who are all these dead people? Maybe we should do uh, speak to dead. Although it doesn't look like they want to talk to me. Alright, that reminds me, I can try doing this with the corpse upstairs too. I've been forgetting, I've been forgetting to use Speak to Dead. Hello there. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Okay, um, oh there's a lot of questions here. What were you doing when you died? Making me soup. Ruined. No. I need to know what they meant by you were poking your nose somewhere that you didn't, uh, shouldn't have been poking it. What happened to you? Killed. Murdered. Well, we know that much, yes. Uh. You know your killer. It's probably the dwarf, same Bastard dude. Yep, yep. Red shirt. As we thought. Uh, what was your job? Why were you killed? The corpse remains silent. Fair enough. It does not know. Uh, what was your job? Feeding barracks. So you were also a cook, basically. Power. Wonderful. All right, back downstairs we go. Um, the big corpse doesn't want to talk to me, and this one doesn't want to talk to me either. The corpse. Had Interesting. Okay. So, clown severed arm. Ooh, that's helpful. Um, dribbles, no doubt. Yes, Yagashura the second. A note found on the corpse of a tall man in the lower city. The effigy of Yagashura who burned his mortality. What use his heart? He thought himself a titan, but died whispering for his mother. Below is an exaggerated signature written in blood or in the red. Okay. How many pieces of the clown do I have now? I have a torso, a hand, and an arm. Does that mean I need a second arm, as well as a second hand, as well as a head, and two legs? Possibly. Okay, um, the heart is there. And I just picked it up. It's still burning, though. Is it a regular heart? A human heart cut from... Okay, so it's basically a normal heart. And Cassie Winestone. Nothing on you. What were you? Are you one of those... You're human, apparently, but you looked a little messed up. Okay. Nothing here. An offer. Dear Mr. Pear Tree, you come highly recommended by a select few, but not merely for your business acumen, but also for your ambition. That is why I'm writing to you. A question of ambition. I have in my possession a tremendous quantity of infernal iron. Its acquisition is immaterial. What matters is this. I shall need assistance distributing the weapons forged from this exquisite iron. I shall need someone ambitious, someone with less than scrupulous connections. Someone, Mr. Pear Tree, like yourself. That, Mr. Pear Tree, was the carrot. I often find it makes an excellent bedfellow uh, to the stick. Consider your position. A less than scrupulous set of connections doesn't just make you valuable to me. It would also make you invaluable to any member of the upstart city watchman or flaming fist ready to make rank. It would really be a, uh, a terrible tragedy for such a bright potential to be extinguished in this way. I eagerly await your correspondence, yours in faith, and Vergortash. Okay, should I not pick this up as evidence? Apparently not. Uh, surveillance, Hells Unleashed, Tin Cup, Guide to Avernus, and a pouch. Okay, we'll just go for the pouch. Nothing in it. Fair enough. Longsword is going here. So the funny part is I found I found a piece of dribbles the clown. Wasn't expecting to find one in here, but here we are. I'm surprised there were no doppelgangers or anything down here. Huh. Various items for us to sell. I'll take it. And why did I pick it that up? What the hell? No, I did not want a barrel. Uh did I just drag it into Will's inventory? Yes I did. Okay, can we just throw this down, please? Thank you. Is that blood? No, never mind. No, it was me accidentally picking up a barrel. 
Uh, back to it then. Maybe I need more pockets. Evidently. I don't know why she ran all the way over there when I clearly clicked on the Moving great ahead. axe. Very strange. Can we please just give that to Will? My gratitude. Dear Mr. Pear Tree, our business proceeds without fault and with lucrative profit. You will find the success reflected in the upcoming deposit to your personal account. Should you continue to be such a willing tool, I can see many more deposits of similar magnitude making their way into your coffers in future. I saw you spent the last payment with exceptional wisdom. Your new abode in the lower city is rather lovely. Men of both means and taste are exceedingly rare these days, and I would be so distraught were you to lose this beautiful home to a terrible accident of fate. Discretion is a key pillar of continued home ownership, after all. You need not respond to this letter. I will write if you are needed further. Yours in faith and record hash. And then he got murdered by Orin because they're doing some infighting. Wonderful. Enhanced weaponry uh, sales ledger. This ledger records acquisitions and sales in Gortash's infernal weapons trade. Infernal iron acquired from diabolic sources, use thereof in forging enhanced arms and armor, and sales and distribution through Gortash's network and to other wholesalers such as the Gentarum and the Knights of the Shield. The final entry is as follows. Note for Lord Gortash. The Knights organization seems to be collapsing and sales to them are in steep decline. However, this is more than made up for by shipments to our new contacts in M, and the Athkatla receipts next month should make everyone happy, Pear Tree. Should I also not take this for evidence? Apparently not. Okay. Let's just throw this all into Will. And then we'll just go and sell them all in a moment. Whenever we next see a merchant. I feel like he's going to become overweight fairly soon. Alright, what's in this chest? Nothing too fancy. Doesn't seem like there's anything else down here. Alright, with that in mind, I am almost ready to go. There's a strong box back here. Oh, and I had the key for it. Well, that's good. Uh, half plate armor plus two, which I can't do anything with. This is going to overweight him. Oh, it's not. And short sword plus two, which is not bad either, but not necessary for me. Lovely. I don't think there's anything else. So now, now we can depart. I think. Still don't know exactly what was happening down here, but we at least found the body part. Lovely. And now, uh, instead of proceeding as I had intended by going straight to the hack survivors, I'm going to allow myself to get distracted and immediately head towards the uh, little smuggler's ring down here. Hello. Who are you, Tusgrant? Stop. What are you doing? Are you trying to sneak past Chaskrunt? You know, I actually went right up to you to talk to you. Guild's friends are Chaskrunt's friends. Oh, that's right. We're friendly with the guild. No, I don't hurt my friends. Unless they deserve it. Fair enough. Thank you for the warning. Okay, so these are all guild people. So now they're friendly to me, which is good. Oh, this is the entrance we used. Mess with us. That'll be the last thing I'll do. I mean you do. Oh, shit! Okay, I see. So this is actually one of the al- Oh. Yeah, this is the alternate entrance or exit from the sewers we found before. Let's see. We just decided to dive right back in uh, when when we found it. Okay. Cool. Uh, counting house safe. Safe number eight key. Sure wish I actually picked that up without wasting lockpicks earlier on, but it's fine. Last night went alright, I guess, but I had a bad feeling about it at the time, and I still do. There were some odd shadows lurking around. Never saw one in the light, clear light. But what I did see through the gloom looked like it was changing shape. And no, I didn't drink anything. Keep an eye out tonight. Bug still water. Yep, there are doppelgangers. You're not wrong. Those will not function, probably. Uh, all of these people would attack you, I guess, if you sided with the with the other um, with the other side at any point. Here's the nine fingers. Good luck. Or if you sided against everyone. Who let you through? That's grunt. Bloody idiot. Uh, you're gonna have to deal with it. I'm actually on friendly terms with your guildmaster. Whoa. Various people's names. 
Uh, this is Malgar Caldwell. Should I know who this is? Ulysses Oberon and Flav Linacker. Parchment. Miss Caldwell, I gleaned from your rather imaginatively written note that you wish to make contact with a former business partner. You're quite right in assuming that the circumstances of her death might make this rather challenging. Decapitation has a habit of making such conversations rather one-sided. You could always just use the Speak to Dead spell, you know. But I assure you, my spirits and I will have no dif difficulty overcoming such an obstacle. Given your affiliations, I would be delighted to offer a discount of, say, 10%, in the hope that the guild might see the value of such cooperation or collaborations in future. I will be expecting you at my mansion near the seafront, and of course, my discretion is assured. Yours in spirit, Mr. Carrion. P.S. I'm sure one of your ilk will be familiar with the security measures I am required to take. Secreta Mort Mortuorum will grant you passage. Okay, that's a... That's a passphrase, if I've ever heard one. I just picked up the entire crate, didn't I? That is definitely not what I wanted. Put it away. If I were you, I'd turn around and walk right out of this alley. Now! I'm allowed to be here. Also, you only have 85 health. That's really easy for me to take out. Do not anger me. Uh, I'm lazy, so just throw it away. Wonderful, there it goes. Um, I may as well talk to you. Or are you the same girl who was just here? Yeah, you are. Never mind. This ain't a public rooftop. Never mind. Fine. So piss off. You are not the same lady. Okay. So there was actually nothing down here other than a quick way back down to the um the hideout. So the hags The Baron's Coop is right here. So I may as well take a look at it, huh? Waypoint discovered. I'm glad about that. I will save. Now, how am I... Ah, this will do it. The Baron's Coop. Property in constant use. Gathering strictly prohibited. The gather... Oh, sorry. The, uh... Request to join the Hag Survivors. What have we got here? I write this to you with shame in my heart. My brother, the light of my life, fell prey to an evil hag. He sought fame and fortune, and she gave it to him. He now sits in my hometown square, a statue at the heart of a fountain. A plaque at his feet reads, Toss a coin for luck. Water spills into the square sometimes, so overflowing, so overflowing is the fountain with coppers. I failed him. I was so wrapped up in my own pain that I didn't notice his. And then I saw your poster advertising your meetings about some other hag survivors. Could I join? I think it would, be, it would do my heart good to meet others like me who have suffered. Cut this regards, Jatlo. Okay. Uh, I still get the feeling that I'm about to run into a hag. Kind of like camping out with the, uh, with the hag survivors. I'm also expecting to run into that girl I saved way back when with uh, Auntie Ethel. So, um, Astarian, unlock the door, please. I wasn't expecting their security to be quite so high. Let us in. Maybe everyone in there is dead. Maybe the hags already got to them. Probably wasn't a good idea to advertise an anti-hag group, huh? Okay. Secret door. Oh. Eviction notice. I have had it! Snowstorms inside the house, blood weeping through the windows, and now Mr. Wimbley's cat is vomiting up frogs. The poor man had a bloody heart attack from the shock. I know you lot are trying to fight back against hags or whatever, and that's great, honestly. But I can't risk the neighborhood just because you were stupid enough to piss off a hag. Keep your rent. I want you all out by tomorrow. Okay. I wasn't expecting this place to be empty. Uh, the support group posters, we've seen those. Uh, I'll take all these. Hag research notes. That's interesting. What have we got? A seemingly random collection of book titles, ingredients, and combinations. Fastidious Fungi by J.L. Corrins. Pure speculation despite the title. The Power of Words, Surviving the Fae by Annabelle Lighthammer. Chapters 418 to 425, Hag Encounters. Good details on hag gestation and reproduction cycles. Not sure if I want to know all that stuff. The Anatomy of Hag by Knuckles Gallo, Chapter 18. Dragon Egg Mushroom plus Autumn Crocus, Non-Reactive. Elmore Wings and Whisperlight Venom, potential but too unstable. Crawler Mucus plus 
Fiddler's Trumpet plus Mellowweed. Useless. Okay. Interesting uh, research going on around here. I'm surprised there was no secret like hideout area in here, huh? Okay, these people are the ones who are making the posters, I understand. Barely legible letter. Attention! Wait, is this not the same? Ah, uh, there we go. Dear Miss Adriel, Cled found a place. A nice old man called Doctor uh, Mr. Garlow used to live here, but his neighbor said he doesn't live here anymore. Cled thinks it's perfect. We can hide from the hag, or fight, or whatever you think is a good idea. Cled knows you will have a good plan. Cled will wait at old Garlow's for you. Bye, Cled. Should I know Cled? That seems like a familiar name. Uh, let's check the log. Uh, help the hag survivors. Someone called Cled Old Garlow's place. Where the heck is Old Garlow? Uh, free the artist. Okay. Old Garlow. Old Garlow. Um. Oh, there it is. I guess it's kind of on the way. Yeah, okay. So let's head left and immediately look at fireworks. Pelogius fireworks. That's probably this building right here. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. We'll stick our head in here, see what's going on. Or maybe after we talk to these people. Oh, hi, Sylphie. How are you, kid? Oh, you look like someone who can probably read. Uh, you can are I not wrong. You in, um, uh, a copy of the Boulder's Mouth Gazette. Please buy one. You got it, kid. Oh yeah, where's Mole? Did she make it to the city too? We know where she is. She's hanging out with the uh, smugglers. Oh, um, she's very busy. I think she's made new fr friends in the city. I'm going to join her there when the gates open. But you're already in the city. Also, Mole still randomly managed to escape and didn't talk to us about it. And doesn't want to talk to us anymore. Um, what do you mean when the gates open? You're in the city. Not the best salesperson, are you? I knew, that's all. I just need oh. to practice. I'm it's so really sorry. Paper, though. No spelling mistakes in it or anything. I feel bad. It's one of the times where Will disapproves and Nastarian approves. I mean, it's worth the trade-off, but damn. I'll take one. Thank you. My first sale. I can't wait to tell Mo. Uh, it's unfortunate for you if that's your first sale, because the only reason you got it is from pity. Uh, okay, Baldur's Mouth. I don't even know which one that they, um, I don't even know which one they, they gave me. Which one was this? Probably this one. We can smell it from up here. The upper city residents on Great Harbor Pollution. Do your bit. How to fight the absolute threat at home. Conscription plan scrapped thanks to Steel Watch Reserves. The Fist refused to investigate sewer stench reports again. Chef Rovere gives kitchen pest control advice. Uh, yeah, assign it to the first person who walks in through your doors, and also my, your cats are fat and lazy. Alright. Um. Who are you guys? What am I supposed to do then? Oh, don't worry about the smell, citizen. Probably just the drains. Nothing to concern yourself with. I find that highly unlikely. You can smell that, right? Bloody rotten it is! Sure. Let's say we can smell it. Hello, Druid Carvox. Maybe I should bring another Druid to talk to you. Uh, yes, I'm going to do that. I'm going to bring Halzen. And in the process, I'm going to drop Will, I guess. Uh, Will still likes me, most, mostly likes me. Temporarily remove you. Yeah? Bye. You sure? Yep. Halzen, come with. What word, my love? Oh. Uh, I wanted to talk to you about the night we spent together. That was something I had dreamed about for some time. <laughs> and now I realize just how woefully meager my dreams were compared to the reality. I would still be there with you now. If the sun hadn't intruded on us and the city hadn't stirred for the day. Uh, fair enough. Um... I've been dreaming about that as well. It was perfect. No, don't say that. True. Perfect would mean there is nothing left to explore. And I see plenty to lose myself in. 
Uh, all right, just come with me. Then you'll have me. Lead. Probably got to level up, but I don't care because you're not going to be sticking around. Um, I you're only here for the purposes of talking to this other dude. Also, what's this? Nature has been most kind to let me share in your heart. What do you need? Uh, nothing. You just had an exclamation mark over your head. That's why I talked to you about it. Uh, how do we you see our relationship? Relationship. <laughs> Such terms belong to civilization. A little unfamiliar to my lips. You know what we share is more fluid, more founded in the principles of nature. Indeed, I am but one of your lovers. Yes, that's you true. And I should each seek happiness wherever it lies. You are all I want, but I will not hold you to myself. Let others know the happiness of being with you. Right. Anyway, bye. Why do you still have a thing over your I head? I had hoped there might be okay. a greater sense of balance within the city. That its walls might enable sheltering within it to foster community. Peace. Yet it is not so. Unnatural steel beings patrol the streets. The printed word sows discontent. And those in need are treated with disdain. You saw how that young boy was being treated on the streets, didn't you? That man considered him a stain. Uh, which young boy? Sometimes it is difficult to see exactly what we are fighting to save here. Sometimes the Shadow Druid's desire to separate nature from all this seems pragmatic, not fanatical. Hmm. I don't think you truly feel that way. You have always believed in balance. I do. But at times like this, it can feel like an impossible dream. Fair enough, I agree with I that. I was harsh on myself before. On my leadership of the Grove. The decisions I made. <laughs> Perhaps too harsh, considering this place. Fair enough. Alright, anything else from you today? No? Alright. Hello, Druid Clarvox. Behold. This tree is plagued by pestilence, yet refuses to die. The goddess Shontia wishes me to save it. I can feel it. Uh, okay, that was it, huh? I, I was will cure you of your pestilence. You have my word. I was kind of thinking he was about to say, "Oh, I need someone to kill it for me," and I was gonna just throw a fireball at it or something. But okay, all that effort for nothing. Uh, all right, Halzen, time to say goodbye once more. Fare thee well. I have longed to hear your voice. Speak I shall see me. you on the morrow. Wherever you need me. Right I'll here. Right here. Yep. Let's talk. Let's go. What about the smell? Okay. Um that's locked. Oh, well when did these people all show up? Interesting. Uh let's talk to the kids. Rascal Boris, that's a name. Hello. Fireworks never hurt anyone. That's just what grown-ups say to make us not want to play with them. That is not a healthy worldview, kid. 12, 13, 14. Oh, rats, I'm short. Are you trying to buy fireworks? What's all this? We serve Lord Gortash. Uh-huh. Hello. God is busy with that. God is busy. Oh, I see. These were this was the uh, the random patrol, but they got stuck down here. That's all it is. Okay. Hello, I'm here to see you people. Who's Willow? That smoke powder smell. It smells so good. You sound slightly addicted. Pelosius fireworks. Fellow fellow guard Sigurd. Okay. Robin Datherswick. He's a bit of a genius, isn't he? At sales, not fireworks. Of course, it helps to have the only license in town to sell the stuff. Oh, I'm sure. Having a monopoly makes things much easier for him. Any torches, matches, wizards, or other sources of open flame, keep them unlit, please. 
I'll try. Although, I, part of me now wants to do this. Nope. They're not upset when you do that. Okay. I wondered how uh, reactive they would be. So, Avery Sanchal, uh, who are you exactly? I need to investigate your place. Faces, hands, and eyebrows. How do we protect them? Watch for wind direction. Put on your gloves. And... A light at arm's length. Very good. And what does Uncle Philogear always say? Once it's lit, you commit. Excellent! Now remember, Philogear's fireworks accepts no liability for singed nails, toasted eyelashes, loss of limbs, scalded torsos, or blown off heads. Now, <laughs> you there. What can I do for you? I love it. The uh, the legal disclaimer. Uh-oh. Recesses of your mind. He has a tadpole. That's not uh -huh. good. A fellow friend of Gortash. Praise the absolute. I have a special sample available just for you, if you wish. Hmm. Uncle Falogier sent me. Aha! Uh -huh. You must be Arthur's friend. Keep your voice down. Okay. Yes, yes. He's just upstairs. But only one flight. If you get to the top, you've gone too far. Browse as irresponsibly as you like. Just don't tell the other customers. Interesting. I need to find a way to get rid of these, these people. Uh, Astarian is inspired, but I don't think he actually gained any uh, approval with me for that, unfortunately. Where is he? Uh, gain access to Avery's workshop. Yeah, less concerned about that. More. Oh, this guy. Have you tried the Lantanese candles? Or perhaps the delicate simplicity of a perfectly crafted torch is more to your taste? Um, can I see what you have for for sale? Of course. Browse responsibly now. Now, first things first, I'm going to unload all my... What is this? Oh, yes, pork, Pop Drakes. Okay. I'm going to unload all this gear on him, and then I'm going to challenge him on the whole Gortash thing. Insufficient gold. Okay, fine. How high? Uh, how low? Yes. Do I need to get rid of anything else? I'm okay for now. Remember, and if it's not a fire. Uh, all right. Have you, or perhaps the delicate. Do you work with Gortash? Oh heavens, no! Not with him. I work for him, as I do for all of my most uh, loyal customers. Fabulously charismatic man, though. Tips well. Seems what are legit. you really asking, friend of Gortash? Uh, I'll take that free sample now, please. This one will be very useful against any and all enemies of Gortash. Be sure to be clear of its explosion area. Please enjoy responsibly, and nowhere near this establishment. Is there anything else I can do for you? No, that is all. Thank you. Browse responsibly now. And for God's sake, have a little discretion. <laughs> he, dis uh, he disproved, uh, disapproved of that. That was pretty good. I want to check out the hatch. I'm allowed up now, though, so let me through. Head on up. Your uncle is waiting for you upstairs. Are you also tadpoled? Hmm. Wait, what the hell is this? Well, hello. What the hell is this? Things aren't like they used to be. Broadsheet says it all, really. The paper quality is atrocious. Worn edges, easy tearing. That newfangled mechanical print works is to blame. Fair enough. All right, what the hell happened back here? Excuse me. Fireworks. Are these people I know? Oh crap. Daddy, please get up. Please. Hey, hey. All right. Look at me. It's gonna be okay. I hope I don't know who these people are. We need to tell the flaming fist. Get this kid some help. All right, time to intervene. I, I got lost, and then when I found mommy and daddy again, they wouldn't get up. I shouldn't have run away. 
I'm sorry. You can't blame yourself. At the same time, how did this happen? All right, we're doing it. The corpse. Really? You could have answered some questions here. The corpse. Hmm. Let's keep your hands. Okay, people don't want me looking at that. Hello. Oh, poor kid found his parents like this. It's a tragedy, yeah. But it's not like we can look after him. What are you, low lives? Little and found his forks gutted. Didn't see it happen, though, thank my gods. City's home to some proper sick bastards. Hmm. I don't know how trustworthy these people are, and I can't actually help him. I shouldn't have. I can't help him. You should come to my camp. You should come to my camp. And I'll, I'll take care of you, kid. But apparently not an option. Why is this the thing I need to worry about? Why do I want to play with the bell? Precisely? I mean, I will. Don't think I won't. Alright. Please, sir, please. What's going on down here? Someone getting... Someone getting robbed? More... More blood! Is that from fish, or is it like someone getting mugged? Hmm... Well, time to get back down. I don't want to lose my 1 HP. Alright, let me back into Philogier's, Philogier's fireworks and let me go upstairs and then I'll worry about the cellar. God is busy with that I did not mean to click on you, I wanted to click inside. And I still want to figure out what's going on in the hatch underneath as well. Uh, hello, are you my uncle? You, not, neither of you seem like my uncle. Hello. Another friend of Falagir? Alright. Just remember the top floor's off limits. Password or not. Don't you worry. Looking to buy a little something extra then. Uh, what's upstairs? That could not be less of your business. Yes, what have you got? Smoke powder in its earthier forms. For purists only. So explosive powder and stuff? Poisons, combustion... Makes sense. How am I doing on thieves tools right now? Probably decently. Don't All right. Jostle any of the merchandise on your way out. Uh huh. Uh, now I can open. What's the purpose of this? I mean, I am seeing that. I guess if I jumped. Oh, there's someone chilling upstairs. There's someone up there. Who's that? The fist of Bane, Volgudrak. Hmm. I'm kind of like. I could jump down on this thing and throw these things off, but even if that lifts me up to that guy, he's going to stop me, isn't he? Then again, is that really a problem if he tries to stop me? That's debatable. Hmm. Employees only, Pastia. If you're expecting any packages, they'll bring them down to you. Okay, I'm very nosy, so I have to know. What is all this? Why do I have to sneak in front of her? Mm, not critical, just a bastard if it breaks. Won't blow us up. You don't have permission to be here. My pro my apologies. How much further can I go? Hmm. Intriguing. Yeah, but I want to see what's upstairs. Okay, let's let's go down a level and then go through that door. We're definitely going to sneak through this place one way or another. And if not sneak, we're going to kill them all. Uh, okay. Alright. Time to skunk them out. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. So why did they... Hmm. Why did they put these doors in if I can't actually use them? I don't know. But for now, Astarian, I need you to uh, let us in. Quickly, get in. Lovely, lovely. We're going in. What have we got? Let's move. Should mind my step. Box of fireworks. Oh, I did not mean to pick up the entire thing. I thought it was actually a container. Uh, in the meantime, then we can just drop it all. We can just drop it all again. Because this stuff is sure to lo uh, load me down. Oh, 
Yeah, this is too too heavy. Way too heavy. Squidgens. Um, the hell is a squidgens? Oh, it's a weapon. Okay, sure. I'm still hearing the guidance going off, but I don't think it's. Don't oh, do. Oh. Someone's left a trap. Good to know. Good to know. Nearly walked into it. Uh. Okay, I, I should have let Astarian do this, but we're okay. Lovely. Now, there's a lever back there, apparently. What is it for? I don't know. Oh, I see. Okay. Secret contraband. Smoke powder. Lovely, lovely. I'll take that. We will that toss this. Uh, nothing useful here. Wizard hat. I'll take that. And there's practically nothing else. Do I have a chest key? I do not. Well, hello. Hello. I have a job for you, sir. With pleasure. Wonderful. I'm glad you're so enthusiastic. What have we got? Uh, that's okay, I guess. I'm just crafting mats. No one stopped me yet. Never wanted the easy path. Uh, okay. So, smoke powder, smoke powder. Another trap. Nearly walked into it. Why am I disarming it here like this? I better not fail. That was pretty close. Interesting, but ultimately kind of pointless. Better not so be what's cursed. through these double doors? This probably just leads outside again, doesn't it? Probably a safe bet. Someone there. Probably a safe bet that it just leads you outside. How lovely. Yeah, it just leads you out. Okay. So how am I going to get upstairs? Hmm. Can I cl can I actually jump up here? It doesn't say so. Okay, so I'm not allowed to jump. Uh There has to be a way to get to the upper level. Right? There has to be a normal way up. I say that, but it might not actually be possible. I might have to do this the uh, the old-fashioned way. Another friend looking to buy a little something extra, then. Ooh, rogue! I know the signs of an illegal hustle. Why don't you just tell me what's going on? That could not be less of your business. Fair enough. Goodbye. Okay, I I would like to find out. Oh, I see. She just stops me if I get anywhere close. Lovely. We're separating. Because I can. You're not gonna find wandered into a forbidden. Bye. Hmm. I can't. I can't convince my way to get up there, can I? I mean, I could just kill everyone, but that would probably be considered a bad idea. So. How am I supposed to get up there? It's not like I can, like, parkour my way out. Can I talk to him? Can I convince you to let me up, or...? Let me in. Alright, I'll go. I lied! I know the drill, okay. Hmm. Avery storage key. That's not helpful to me because I already I've already been down there. There's definitely stuff up here. This is their supply of smoke powder, which is interesting, but I still need to figure out how to get up there. I guess I could try casting fly, but I don't know if that would do it. I suppose I'll try. Let's say I use a scroll of fly or whatever, right? Let, I'll drink a potion of fly. Been caught in the act. What Sarah are you talking about? The perfect crime. With your ill gone. Uh? Did I pick something up by accident? I guess so. Whoopsie daisy. One day I'll catch a break. 
I don't know how that happened. I All I tried to do was drink a potion. Okay, so let's say I flew down here and then flew up here there. Hello! What happens if I fly all the way up here? Oh, we're just in combat. Uh, Lull Sworn Drow. So none of these people are good. They're all problems. Obviously. And... Black Gauntlet Uva. Who are you? What makes you so special? Hmm? Are the people above in combat? You're not in combat. That's okay with me. So, is it worth it? To make my way up there as well? Can I even do it? Come, that come remains to be seen. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm gonna smack you first. Die, please. Okay, I missed someone lying prone on the ground. Uh... And then I can fly down a level, and then maybe they'll just run down and chase me? Let me pop right there. Come on, can't find the path? That's okay then. Bye! Okay. Uh, let's see if I'm allowed to get back up. Have to keep going. Not enough resources. That's fine, that's fine. Okay, everyone come down and fight me. And hopefully this will not trigger... What does he do? Okay. Hopefully this will not trigger the guards downstairs. So if they all run down here... Oh no, they're, they're enemies now. That's on them then. That's on them. That's not my fault. If they all decide to attack me, that's uh, that's on them. Nope. Oh, that kind of hurt. That was very rude of him. Or her, sorry. Uh, well, first things first, we're summoning a buddy. We are summoning the tried and true Fire Murmurdon. Lovely. Orders. And... We may as well smack her once. Yes. No! I just tried to attack my own Murmurdon. That was silly of me. Okay. Um... You didn't really accomplish much. So I guess you can misty step your way back up, huh? Yeah, let's do that. I'm wasting all of their, um, their, their movement utility, but that's fine. Can I shoot any of them? 58%, 65%. Good stuff, good stuff. Let's hope you don't get shoved out again. That's what favors the fearless. We're doing it. Good stuff. Happy about that. Um, you can wait. And you might as well smack her. Nice. They're still temporarily hostile. No, they're no longer temporarily hostile. They're completely hostile. Which makes sense. So they're, they're brewing stuff up here, for sure. They're brewing things. Not sure exactly what. Drugs? Smoke powder? Okay. Uh, still okay. Okay. I would appreciate it if you stopped doing that. Are you gonna run out to meet us? Okay, fine. The guards don't seem to be doing anything about this, but alright. Yeah, these these guards don't seem to care at all. Can't even catch my breath. Oh hey, Avery. What a shame that you're just gonna die. Also, I kind of want to check out this... Investigate the suspicious toys. We interrupted Bane Knight cultists in Philogear's fireworks. We've got a fight on our hands. Discovered Bane Knight cultists assembling explosives. We need to stop them. Yeah, okay, fine. Just kill them all. Not an issue. This guy's interesting. Ba Black Gauntlet Uva. 
Interesting helmet you've got there. Aura of Terror, alright. Are you gonna run outside to deal with us too? No, you're going... Yes, you are. Okay. Fascinating. Can I fly back up, please? Okay, maybe not up there, although I can probably use a scroll to do some AoE damage, can't I? Uh, what do I want to do? Disintegrate? That's only one character. Magic Missile. Cloud of Daggers could be helpful. Could work. It's not going to do a whole lot, but free damage is free damage. If they're all climbing up here, I might as well do something to them, right? Now I just need to find a good place to plop this down. This is probably decent. Wonderful. Uh, while that's going on, I can probably continue flying. I can fly back inside if I wanted to, really. I might as well fly back inside. Jo rejoin the rest of my team. Uh, right there seems good. Hello, I'm back in the, into, the, into the party. Okay, no animation, but that's fine. Uh... This is fine. We'll end the turn. Lovely. They took some damage, but not a lot. But, again, free damage is free damage. I should probably drop an AoE, like, right here on the stairwell as well. If I can. I don't think I can, though, sadly. Get her! Good. You may as well, uh... Can you do a bite? You can. Get happy, lovely. I don't even know what you get when you're happy. Ooh, okay, so you just get nice bonus stats. I like it. Um... In the meantime... What AoE spells can you do? Flight... Minor Elemental... You don't have any spells that just... Oh, actually... This is pretty good, right here. They have no choice. Nice. But you have to concentrate, that's the hard part. Because they're going to target you pretty heavily. We can close this door. So now you can't get pushed out. And stand right here. Uh, is this worth it? No, just end my turn. I'm goaded to attack who? What does that mean? Oh, I'm just being forced to attack him. Sure. That's fine. That's okay. So I've been taunted, essentially, is just what it means. Um. Do I get it? Do I get hit when I do that? Hmm. Hiya! Free damage. I like it. Everyone run through the moonbeam. Please. Okay, concentration. Hellish Rebuke! Nice. Aha! You cannot get through my, my melee characters. How many attacks do you get, lady? Nice. Okay, they're all on their way. Nice. I like that. Appreciate that a lot, actually. Very good. I should consider throwing down another blade of, uh, blade AoE, like, right there on the stairwell. I need to consider a few things, actually. Uh, so let's throw down another scroll. What's another nice AoE I can throw down? Burning hands. That's not AoE. Arcane. If I can put up a wall, that would be pretty good, right? Wall of ice. So if I cast it, like, right invalid target, like, is there a way for me to, let's say I put it right there. Target is blocked by what? How does this work? I don't think it'll work in here, will it? 
No, it's too big. Too big a spell. Okay. Uh. Hmm. Animal friendship, blight, blink, steaming, shatter, cloud kill, and eh, cloud kill seems unnecessary. Major armor. I mean, web could work in theory. That seems a waste. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I could just run over there and just deal with them in person. I may as well do that, right? I may as well just go after this guy. I mean, it's not like he's uh, exactly resisting my damage. Uh, That's okay. I may as well back up a little bit. Walk right through the moonbeam, please. Nice! Next. Oh, jump right in front of the moonbeam. Do it. Oh, he's smart. Decided not to go into it. And now she's gonna cast something too. Nice. Um. Okay, everyone's HP is a little on the low side. Let's take out this dude. Mr. Pallid over here. Or her. Pallid. Path interrupted. Hmm. This is interrupted, but this is not. Interesting. Oh, that's a hamstring shot. That's not even a normal shot. Let's just go for her with a blinding shot. Good. That's something. You may want to consider a potion, though. Which you don't have. Which is okay. Still standing. No um, call lightning or an ice storm. Call lightning seems decent enough. I guess I got rid of my my uh, my moonbeam by doing that, huh? Unfortunate, but not surprising. That's fine. Okay, that was unfortunate. Let's walk him up a little bit. Throw down some fire. Or not. We may as well just take him out. Good. You're still alive. I kinda kinda forgot about you. Will please. Where do I go from here? I don't know. Nope. Yeah, we're not doing too hot. Okay. Mild regret. That's fine. Rebuke him. And this lady's still on her way down. Okay. Don't know what that does. Why are you running downstairs? Okay. Interesting. Uh, I guess I should throw a potion then. We're throwing a, a big pot right into both of them. What just happened? Did I heal them or not? What just... I think I just lost my item. Well, that sucks. I have no idea what happened. Kill him. Okay. Next. Wonderful. Uh, I'm fine continuing to do what I'm doing. It's very annoying. Okay, let's pick him up. Uh, and then what? I would say heal up, but I don't know if he can. Um, this whole cloud kill situation is very annoying. Very annoying. Quickly. Okay, he's just got downed. Because of what? Cloud kill? Probably. In that case, you're probably better off just healing. 
one of them. Come now. It's but a scratch. Take you, Just but a scratch. And that was her action for the turn. That's great. This is going wonderfully. Uh I don't even know what you can do. Okay, drink something. Two steps I should get these wounds taken care of. Probably. The cloud kill's not doing us any favors, admittedly. You can't move, okay? You can't do anything. You can warp. Hello. Now, which one do we want? Mr. Cloud Kill over here? Probably. Okay. Really? Like, directly in my face? That seems unwise. Alright, down he goes. Lady is doing nothing but being annoying. Uh, there goes my potion of flying. You might as well die, sir. Uh, I don't even need to heal. That's the that's the sad part. Um, so I can hit you. Did I kill him? It did not. Good, because I want to blast you. Good. And I'll just do a regular attack. How about that? Nice. Concentration still succeeded. Annoying. Annoying. Very annoying. Uh, he's at most risk of dying. So we'll get him up. And that is our entire action for the turn. Let's turn someone inside out. Mm, I think you're in a little bit more trouble than that, sir. You'll probably die instantly when you walk forward. Can I please get a potion from someone? Drink a potion or something. Anything. Uh, I just need to find a potion. That's a poison, so that's not it. One day I'll find a potion in my inventory. You know what? Just drink it from Will. Screw it. Yes, drink it. And try to get the hell out of here. If at all possible. Not enough movement. Okay, fine. Uh, who's the biggest problem? I still want this guy dead. Good. That doesn't stop the cloud kill, but it's something. Okay. Ow. Okay, that's fine. How about you uh, stop doing that? Good. Um, I should probably do this, so now I have more ability to run up here. What do you mean, can't reach destination? Please go up the stairs. I'm immune to cloud kill, apparently. Need to find a way forward. Okay, let's go as far as we can. Uh, which is not very far indeed, actually. Okay. I think we're about to lose Will. Ow. Okay. That was not great. We're gonna warp right here next to this guy, because he's really annoying. Hello. Critical miss. Love it. That's what I'm here for. Uh, oh yeah, Will died, as expected. Wonderful. So glad. Uh, I can't see shit through the through the cloud kill. This is the most annoying thing. <laughs> Literally can't do anything. Just get the hell out of the cloud kill, please. You may as well just sneak and hide. Um... What can you do from here? Probably still have fireball, right? That'll do. 
Nice. Finally. That was the guy who was annoying me. Okay. Okay. Probably not the wisest decision I ever made. Considering that it put me in, in harm's way, but sure. Alright, I'm going in. Going for the big threat. Lovely. Uh, you know what? Double it up. Just finish her off. Yes. Good. Next. Okay, we can live with that. This will get blocked. Interrupted. Annoying. And you know what? Just end your turn. It's fine. But not today. Not today. Aha! Minimal damage. Still alive, so that's progress. Wonderful. And now we can use another lovely Revivify. Hey, Will. Glad. Uh, nice of you to join us. My time's running out. It's fine. You'll live. Everyone, level up, please. Nice. That went pretty well, all things considered. Eldritch Invocations, don't know what that means. Learn another spell. Uh, flight does seem very helpful, truth be told. Yeah, some utility is always good, huh? I'm just going to throw that in there. And what else do you have? Real Sickness, Silence, Chromatic Orb. Beast Speech seems kind of good. Life Drinker. Hmm. <laughs> Enhance sleep. Speak with debt. That also seems good. A lot of this seems helpful. That seems kind of meh. 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 So it's either beast... Well, no. I'm just going to go for life drinker. That's more helpful for him, I think. And we're replacing a spell, apparently. There's nothing here I would like to replace, so just leave it as is. Yes. We're good. Oh, I need a feat. That's what it was. Okay. Um. Ow. What do I want to give him? Sentinel, Savage Attacker. Seems kind of meh. Skilled. Spell Sniper. Spell Sniper could be good. Warcaster could also be good. Actor, dual wielder, dungeon no durable. I kind of want to give him spell sniper, but that really depends on whether or not Eldritch Blast counts as a spell, and I don't know if it does. Tough performer, pull arm, resilient. Hmm. Gain advantage on opportunity attacks. Eh. Let's just go with skill sniper. Or is that too much? I'm not sure what to roll with. Just give him shocking grasp, I guess. Because then if, it, they, if someone can't do reactions, it might actually be helpful. I, I don't know. That was a big guess. Another new feat. This is the part where I start getting confused because now I'm like, hmm, what do I want? What do I want? Tavern Brawler is good, but Savage Attacker? I could go Savage Attacker. Mage Slayer. Honestly, I might do, I might do really well with Sentinel. Yeah, I think I will do well with Sentinel. All things considered, yeah. I honestly have no idea what to get Jahara. Absolutely no idea. Jahara... Uh... I don't know what you want to be, ma'am. Medium armor, my... 
Lightly armored. You're lightly armored, but that's probably a waste. Mobile? Yeah, whatever. Let's go with mobile. What have you got for me, bud? I honestly don't know what to give you either. Martial Adept? Nah. Moderately armor. Performer. Part of me wants to give him Savage Attacker. But that's only melee attacks. That's not so good, is it? I like him with the bow, truth be told. Mm. And th But there's nothing here specifically that's good with the bow, is there? Alert. I am not sure what to give him. Uh, Spell Sniper, Tavern Brawler, Tough Forecaster, Weapon Master. Um, let's just do Mage Slayer. Why not? Okay, everyone got a little bit of healing. Everyone chill out just a bit. Enough to keep us going. For now. Oh, perfect. She said exactly what I wanted to say. Wonderful. There's just a whole lot of acid everywhere, though that's fine. Uh, time to loot everyone and everything, and then we will all sell it all, uh, sell it to people. So we're getting rid of that. Ooh, look at all this money! I appreciate that. Thank you. Scribbled note. Tamara. I know our toy maker friend is part of the cause, but what I have seen is worryingly unsubtle. The last thing we want is to be held accountable for his activities. If he comes in looking for more stock, tell him we're undersupplied. I'd rather not have the shop's good name ruined. Okay. Before I go upstairs, I'm going to check out all these bodies on the stairs. Hello. Thank you for the fireworks. Mind Flayer. Look at all these lovely keys that I could have used. And would have appreciated Counting House Vault Number 5. Interesting. Um, but I wasted lockpicks on instead. My dear fellow Avery, you have done well so far, but do allow the production of the smoke powder to flag. No one will question a fireworks shortage in case of crisis. Never fear, my friend. I'll take personal interest in your shop to cover any lost income. My sincerest wishes for your success, G. Probably Gortash. Probably. Uh, mace plus one. We're tossing that. Whatever that key is. Don't care. Don't need it. Uh, who's Wogloo? Oh, okay, that's an item. Interesting that these guards did literally nothing outside. Okay. Everyone's dead. He's not dead in the most dignified pose. Uh, so we're going up, looting all these people. Installation report. Installation of self-destruction element in the Iron Throne was successful. Used majority of explosives orders. No questions asked, none answered. Gortash will be pleased. Lovely. Give me all this. Thank you. Fist of Bane. They sounded so impressive with their titles and stuff, but it's just like, what exactly do you accomplish? Fist of what now? Uh, throw that over. Now, Black Gauntlet Uva, you're interesting, but you just have an interesting name. You don't actually drop anything interesting. No letters or anything of note. Interest, uh, surprising. Whipping up booms. This is a restricted area. Time to explain yourself. This is a restricted area. Time to explain yourself, or this guard will be restricting you to a cell. Uh, please elaborate. Why am I getting caught? Your words are enough. Should you attack? I'm all the way up here. Why are the guards in here all of a sudden? Why are they indoors and attacking me? That doesn't seem. That seems a little ridiculous. They're only temporarily hostile, though. Can I escape? 
Summon creature cannot flee. That's fine. Hello? Why do they do nothing until until now? We are escaping. Enemies too close. What? That is ridiculous. What is this? Why are we living Light through this problem? Feet. Uh and any other save is literally from before the fight. So that would be a huge waste of time. Hmm. I need to find a way out of here. Minus 26 health, but I'll live. Worth it? Worth it. Everyone's gonna have to do the same thing. Everyone out. I can still move fast when I need to. Everyone out. Okay. Okay. Everyone out. To the best of your ability. Two steps at a time. Okay, don't like that. Do you have... Th you can cast fly. Good. Oh, you can cast fly on multiple people. That's good. That's very good. Time to kill. Also, you're hiding right now? That's pretty funny. Can you flee? You can go to camp. Leave. Yeah, you, you just chill out in camp. Uh, in the meantime... You should... Probably a waste, but step next to her. Cast fly on yourselves. Wonderful. And GTFO before fleeing combat. How about that? Not enough excess, ex, 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 not enough movement speed. Okay. I'm gonna have to sneak my way back in here. I mean, if these people didn't get stuck here the whole time, I wouldn't even have this problem. But hmm. Oh, well, great! He's coming around for me, and now they're all temporarily hostile. Not enjoying that. Okay, you just you just block them. It's fine. Please flee combat, friends. Come on. I can't trick it. Oh. Still too far. Watch for the hidden hand. Okay. How about you warp all the way over here? And now you flee, yes. Okay. Keep your blade close. I may die in this process. I may not make it out. Just saying. Uh. Do I even have a Misty Step right now? I don't. But I can probably cast a Scroll of Fly on myself on the way out. So let's do that. Goodbye. Farewell. Attack of opportunity. Worth it. That's fine. Goodbye. Um. Not enough movement speed. Too close. Yeah, this was totally not worth it. Can I not use, like, a Misty Step or something? Scroll of Misty Step, can I use it? I can. Okay, that's good. Out! And... The last person left is Will. What? what? Uh... Will... Why are you not letting me pick Will? Okay. 
So he has to get out. Not enough space, why? How far can you get? He can't get out that far, can he? And there's an enemy just chilling right there, okay. So with this flight, he really can't get anywhere. The dude is following me. Um, where's the furthest you can reach? I mean, I could just leave Will to die again. That is a distinct possibility, yes. Why can you only move there? That's nowhere, dude. Why is your movement, like, so, so low? Okay, let's have you fly down here. And then Misty Step over here. Okay, you're not going to make it out, are you? Yeah, you're not going to make it out. I'm going to have to waste another Revivify on him. Not good. Not good at all. Okay. I'm trying to reach a peaceful solution here, and this is, uh... Way more stressful than it needs to be. That's fine. Don't 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 attack him back. Nope. Because if you attack him back, they're gonna claim assault, and you know who's gonna be in trouble for that? Us. Okay, let's fly down here. Is this far enough away now? Please and thank you. Wonderful. We're all gone. We're all out of combat. This is great. You might as well despawn. The only thing they can attack now is just the summon. So as long as I despawn the summon, we should be in the clear. In theory. Wonderful. Goodbye. Great. Journal updated. Rescue Orin's victim. Why? What happened? Wait, what? We destroyed a Steel Watcher. Gortash now has one fewer mechanical lackey protecting him. Investigating the Steel Watch may be a good approach. I did not destroy any of those. So... I don't know how to feel about that at this moment. But, I'm going to call it right here. <laughs> that was very stressful. I don't really know the repercussions of how that, of what I just did. Um, how that's going to affect the gameplay from here on out. But I guess we'll find out. So, have a great day. Thank you for watching. This has been Karst with Baldur's Gate 3. We'll catch you next time. Bye bye now.